Hello dear friends, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to a new question about dermatology. Which one of the following statements regarding allergy testing is incorrect? Okay, this question is asking about the incorrect choice about allergy tests. A. Both irritants and allergens may be tested or using skin patch testing. This one is correct. We can uh, use irritants and allergens uh, uh, skin patch test. We can use skin patch testing for, um, for uh, detecting irritants and allergens allergy. The B, the radioallergosorbent test determines the level of immunoglobulin E to a specific allergen. And it's, it's right. The radioallergosorbent test determines the level of immunoglobulin E to a specific allergen. And this one is correct. C, skin prick testing is easy to perform and is inexpensive. This one is also correct. D. Skin prick testing should be read after 48 hours, and this is wrong. We can read speak, we can read uh, prick testing uh, after 15 to 20 minutes, and this one is not right. Okay. E. Skin prick testing normally in class a histamine uh, control. Yes, this is correct. As we said, the D is wrong. The answer is D skin prick testing should be read after 48 hours is not correct it can be uh, it can be read after 15 to 20 minutes explanation skin prick testing can be read after 15 to 20 minutes skin patch testing is read after 48 hours okay here we are going to explain three types of allergy testing okay skin prick test is the most common use test and is easy to perform and inexpensive drops of diluted allergen are placed on the skin after which the skin is pierced using a needle. And a large number of allergens can be tested in one session. Normally in class a histamine is a positive and a sterile water is a negative control. A will will typically develop if a patient has an allergy and can be interpreted after 15 to 20 minutes and is useful for food allergies and also pollen and it's part, uh, this one is important skin prick test is useful for food allergies and also pollen okay here we can see skin prick testing and the positive result of skin prick testing skin patch testing skin patch testing is useful for contact dermatitis and around 30 to 40 allergens are um, placed on the back irritants may also be tested for and the parts are removed 48 hours later with the results being read by a dermatologist after a further 48 hours okay here we can see skin patch testing and the result of skin patch testing here we can see yeah, as we said, skin patch testing can be read after 48 hours. The patch is uh, removed 48 hours later. They stayed for 48 hours on the patient's skin and uh, the results we can read after a further 48 hours. Okay. <clears throat> Radioallergo uh, sorbent test or RAST determines the amount of immunoglobulin E that reacts, reacts specifically with suspected or known allergens. For example, uh, immunoglobulin e, e to egg protein. Results are given in grades from 0 as a negative to 6 as a strong, strongly positive. And uh, RAS test is useful for food allergies, inhaled allergens, example pollen and wasp or bee venom. Okay, we can use this one instead of skin prick testing. Blood tests may be used when skin prick tests are not suitable. For example, if there is extensive eczema or if the patient is taking antihistamines, as we said. This one is also, uh, uh, RAS is also a good test for allergies, inhaled allergens, and pollen, and wasp, or bivinum. Uh, in the cases uh, which uh, we cannot do skin prick testing, for example, if the patient has 
is taking antihistamines or the patient has extensive eczema which we cannot do skin proof testing that then radioallergic sorbent test is a choice okay here we are going to compare differences between skin prick uh, testing and ras test okay a skin prick test uh, usually is a tiny uh, how it's done usually a tiny allergen extracts a place on the skin and a gentle prick is made it has some pros it's fast a result uh, we can read it in 15 to 20 minutes we can do the test in the same session and see the results in the place it's uh, painless and highly accurate it's really highly accurate skin prick testing and it has some cons also can be done if uh, the patient is taking antihistamines or, or the patient has uh, as we said this patient's skin is so irritated as we said if the patient has uh, extensive eczema okay these are the cons of their uh, skin proof testing and blood test or radioallergosorbent test uh, a blood sample is drawn, uh, drawn and analyzed for allergen-specific immunoglobulin E antibodies. Uh, the pros of the test, no need to, spot, uh, to stop antihistamines if the patient is taking antihistamines. He can uh, use it, he can continue uh, taking his antihistamines and is useful in, uh, if skin test is not possible, as we said. If skin test is not possible, then we can do blood test for immunoglobulin E. And it has some cons also. Results take days slightly less sensitive than skin testing. And the patient must wait for the results and is uh, less sensitive than skin testing. Okay, here was an explanation, a short explanation about three types of uh, skin allergy testing. Thank you for your attention.